Hi everyone, it's Brian Jones, the Sunday Carpenter here. Today we're going to make a split top saw bench. I decided to make this project after watching Stumpy Nubs make a split top saw bench. It was a really good video and he did it using some simple dovetails and I really wanted to try that and get practice getting better at those. So I went to the local lumber shop and I bought a 12 foot long piece of 2 by 6. I cut it into four pieces that are 45 centimeters long. These will be the two legs on each side, two on one side, two on the other. And I cut two pieces at 90 centimeters. Those will be the top. I've got some old 2x4s and I'm going to cut those up later on my miter saw and those will become the feet. So let's get started getting rid of these rounded edges. We take our Stanley plane. We're going to square up our edges a little bit. Make this look a little bit less like a crappy 2x6. I love this Black & Decker Workmate 225 my parents gave me for a Christmas present a few years ago but it's got its limitations. That's part of the reason I want to make the split top saw bench. It'll be a little heftier. I can sit on it or kneel on it, get my cuts. It'll be a better height for me, I think. And I'm gonna put some holes in it so I can use hold fast and use it for chopping up mortise and tennis too. So I'm really excited to get this project done. A nice smooth square edge. going to do next is take the legs and mark where our dovetails are going to go and then we'll cut the receiving portion on the legs for the dovetails. Now this is just going to be a bench that sits outside. It's going to get kind of beat on. It's going to get scratched up. It's going to be used for lots of stuff. It's going to look pretty ugly pretty quick. So I'm not too worried that the ends aren't perfect. Uh, nothing like coffee outside in the morning. Using my marker. I got it Rockler. Last time I visited my folks down in Georgia just so I can see it put a little pencil mark there too
here's all the dovetails lined up and ready to be cut. cutting out this dovetail but I'm gonna have to chisel out all of this chaka 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 I don't really want to do that but that's what I'm going to do it's gonna take a lot longer using the chisel but it'll get the job done so after this cup of coffee I'm going to get to it. It's one of the fun things about woodworking. Frustrating, but fun. It's figuring out how to get past these hurdles. I got a lot of hurdles on this project. Job done with the chisel. chisel. Got my handmade router table ready. We're just gonna clean up the chisel marks a little bit so that they'll join better. Get your safety gear on. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 
So all the dovetails have been cut, all the ends have been gone over one more time with the chisel to make sure that they fit nice and snug, and now it's time to glue everything together. The project's finished. It's a really rugged, split top workbench. Really sound. I got two by fours across the front to stop racking. Got one on the front, one on the back. And I drilled some quarter inch holes along the top of them so I can use hold fasts, which I bought two Christmases ago for myself. And I've been excited to use those ever since and now I'll have a chance to use them. These really nice holdfast made by Gramercy Tools. And I'll put a link down below. Uh, I got a pair of them, I think it's like about $40. Really nice. All in all, I think it came out really nice. Thanks for watching everybody and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and the subscribe button too. Thanks so much, and I'll see you again.